righty, this is our main man, Steve, and we're here at the south side of the point of the mountain. He's a couple days in, no real flights to his name. Uh, we've been rotating through all the different techniques. I know a lot of people don't love the let go of the brake techniques, and we acknowledge that, but depending on the location, depending on the situation, a pilot should have a big bag of tricks. He already has a big bag of tricks, and these tricks are gonna let him flow the glider up the hill. Kind of a nice skill to have certain places. Okay, so down here low on the hill, the technique for Steve is A's. You can just throw those. And there's a lot of people love to stow the brakes and we're just a little freestyle on that too because we're just rotating through all the techniques so often we just leave them. Here we go. Steve, just watch and kind of start to follow along with me. Go ahead and grab here. Other hand probably. Good. So this is the A's and raw brake lines. So Steve, I want you to pull the right hand a little bit and let it flow up the hill. Just walk up. Good. See how everything kind of got soft as you started walking? And that's the, that's the thing in wind. And now what will happen quite quickly is Steve will realize he hasn't used the A's in a long time. Let go of everything for a second. Good. Let your arms just hang at your sides. Perfect. Stay square with the glider. Keep your head in the middle. You got to look at me. Keep your eyes right here through the heads up display. Come on. Yeah. See how your body's a little twisted? Good. Now you're starting to own it. And now grab one rear riser in each hand. That's, these are the rear risers. Perfect. And you've got a power grip on those. Go ahead and bend your knees. That's, we're looking for a little more athletic than that. It's okay. So the nice thing about this one, and it, we acknowledge that it's ripping right now. So this is a little high intensity, but you're slaying it. This is great for our purposes. Don't pull, start pulling too much. Good. Um, when you're on the rear risers like this, it won't twist you. You can kill it any time. When you pull the rear risers, it doesn't lift you up. Okay. So go ahead and walk this up the hill. It's worth knowing this is the aggressive grip, like you might want to kill it. Flip your hands like this. Flip your hand over. Like this, bud. There you go. Now bring your hands in. Good. Don't, no, you see how you're pulling out? I'd rather you pull in here toward your belly button. Now walk up. Notice the nice control you have. Relax the hand up. Good. Maybe we pulled a little too much there for a second, right? Now we'll bring it back up. Good, work them a little, come on, work them. Don't change your grip. You gotta work them, that looks like this. That's what it means to work them. Keep working them. And remember, letting off's an important move. So. Quite quickly, he realizes, oh, dang, I could go flying right now by accident if I'm not careful. And so it's time to knock it down. Okay. Go ahead and knock it down all the way. Pull as hard as you can. Stand full. So by the time you have that feeling, oh, gosh, this thing could take me flying by accident, then absolutely you need to have your brakes in hand. If you're on the side of the hill like this, everyone loves A's and C's. So put your, with your brake in hand, grab right here with your right hand. That's a power grip, remember? There is a lighter duty one. Put your left hand under this one. Good. So this is what people are used to seeing and we acknowledge that 100% and it actually works here pretty nice if you wanna flow it up the hill a little ways but you wanna have the good control and you wanna be ready if it takes you flying by accident, that's the one you'd use. It's worth reminding ourselves that this is your direction of turn, right? And uh, in the big bad world, you say people love A's and C's, this is great, this is the power grip, that's good for keeping it on the ground but by the time you wanna go, I recommend to switch the grip to this. I also recommend to to put the grip lower on the riser. Now swivel your hips, see how your hips are kind of twisted? Good, see how it's kind of even now, but it's an organic even, right? Good. The other thing is uh, a lot of people on A's and C's, they'll, they'll pull like this and like this a bunch before they even get started. We really love to have the A's and C's all the way out. That way you kind of respect the design of the glider. Cool. So we'll go ahead and bring it up and we're gonna turn to the left when the time comes. Hands to the right, see how the C hand is to the right, good. Hands to the left a little bit, see hands to the left. Good, let go of the risers, but keep the brakes. Turn, good. Now, chest forward and through. Good, walk over there. We love it that you're automatically centering up. Cool, relax your hands. Eyes over here. Now, Steve's on a little bit of a journey here to have soft hands while his feet leave the ground. So we have him on the last knuckle. We have the elbows low and the wrists low. Keep walking down the hill. Look past me, don't get stiff. Stay soft. So, okay, so one, notice your chest isn't forward. Yeah, you got to get it through. You got to keep it through. Keep it through. Keep it through. Eyes to the right of me. Look to the right of me. Get, square up your chest so that that's through. See how this one does not feel like the other one? Good. Now you're now you're through. Here, here's how it's going for you. I'll say right brake, you'll go. You see how the head's coming back every time you pull the brake? So you have to know that you can push forward like this and give the right and still push forward with your chin, nose, chest, everything. Yeah, those are the two main things. Now we can just cross hand kite it up the hill. Use your right hand here, gentle. Left hand goes up, see how you're pulling a little left over there? 
Good, see how it's clean now? Now we should walk over here, don't you think? Cool, so this hand's working. Notice everything's soft. It's a pretty good look. Now you connect with both hands. Connect with both and just walk it on up. Keep going. Beautiful. Walk left a little. You can see it's off to the left. Good. Now work both. Now walk over here a little. You can see it's off to the right. Left hand comes up and over. Good. See how it works? Yes. Perfect. Now we're down here on the flat. Let's go ahead and claim this. Turn to the left, chest forward. Show me the things. Be aware of your hands. You should see your hands out of your periphery so they don't do weird stuff. Also, you need I need a wedding picture smile right now. There we go. That's going to be a better vibe. Go. Okay, wait. The shoulder, the shoulder. See how fast it falls apart? Okay, why? Because your shoulder came out of it. Go ahead and get your left get your left shoulder back. Good. We're going to bring it right back up. We'll go to that moment. Okay. I was really concentrating on my hands. Okay. Right. Don't, my don't concentrate. Just try to feel the algorithm. Turn. If you concentrate on one thing, you'll be screwed. Chest forward. Relax your hands. Don't look down. Keep, keep moving. I love how the chest is forward. I love how the hands are soft. This is an amazing look. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, you don't let her go off to the side. Don't let the hands turn weird as I start, to, as you start to get light. Little left break. Good. If you happen to get light, I need you to keep your shit together. Keep your hands right in here. Keep your shit together. Legs down, elbows in. Good, more break. Turn and face it. Good, eyes horizon. Let go of everything. Grab the rears. Walk to it 10, 20 feet as you set it down. Walk, 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 flat feet. Knock it down all the way. You can keep walking while you do it. Pull hard. Pull hard, buddy, come on. Good. Okay, you did it that time. All you have to do is say to yourself, while I'm lifting off, don't let the algorithm fall apart. Yeah, we're working on kiting up the hill workflow. Kiting and remember, it's gonna go A's and raw brake lines, and then switch to rear risers, right? And then you'll do that for a second and you'll be in charge of it. It won't twist you and it won't take you flying. But at a certain point, by the time you hit that wind in the bottom of the hill, you'll knock it down all the way and get a complete pre-flight. Okay. And then you'll A's and C's it up the hill, right? And then you can flow it into whatever takeoff you want. It's not lost on us that it's a little bit windy here, but go for it, bud. Remember, you're kind of of the mind to start walking pretty early in this. So go ahead and pop it up and start walking. Off you go. Good. And there's a bunch of magic in pulling really hard on the right hand and making it hurt your pinky a little bit. Keep working it. One thing you do is you never let it touch the ground. This hand needs to relax, bud. Good. So remember, this hand is alive. Make it do real things. Keep walking. Good. When it's low, you got to let off. Yes. And you walk over here a little. Good. And you work this early as it's shooting up. Don't death grip the A. Let off. You know it's training down, so you let this hand go forward. And then you shake this one. Walk up. And a lot of people don't realize how much you can walk up at it. And they also don't realize how nice it is because it makes it soft. It makes the glider come up slow. And you can kind of sometimes keep the glider lower on the horizon than you think. Keep walking. Walk over here, work that right hand, make it hurt your hand. Only thing better would be chin low, just walking up the hill, work that right hand with your chin low. We love the hustle, notice the constant footwork, keep walking. Good, you haven't used the A's in a while. Let's switch, one raw brake line in each hand, quick. Good, now that doesn't give you enough authority, let off, let off, let off. Walk over here, doesn't give you quite enough authority. All in one move, switch to the rears, quick. Good, now walk up. Now you own this. You're not letting it take you flying. You're not letting it twist you. You can knock it down anytime and you're gonna. Sooner than later, knock it down. Pull, walk to it. Good, stop. Now, sooner than later, you wanna flow this into having your brakes and the proper hands for flying. Put your hands behind your seat. And now notice, and especially for you people that don't like letting go of the brakes, he's safe. We didn't do it for very long. You had control of it. We wouldn't do that except that you have to. To flow through there, you kind of have to go through some alternative modalities, and especially if the wind's more fluky than it is today. If it's a light condition, and, and that, that one section right there was kind of nice because it was kind of patchy for a second. And that technique might have been one of the only ones that would work. Like we said, the goal is to pull up out way up there and flow it to here. The question is, what do you do here? The answer is get a good pre-flight. All the things are checked and we know that you're not gonna use your stirrup. And you look over your left shoulder here and you see if it still seems like a good idea to maybe take a little flight. The next flow would be A's in one hand, C's in the other. 
And as you're just standing there, you use the aggressive C hand, right? And it should be behind your seat. And so now by the time you want to launch, watch my hand, the hand this hand, C hand flows like this, and then maybe it re-grabs like this so it can be precise. I want you to flow this into a nice takeoff about 10 feet up the hill here. Put your right hand forward for the moment. Get it right in the middle. Remember, if you start with that right hand off to the right side, it's gonna go over here automatically. Mental check, if the glider goes over there, the C hand goes over there, right? You can do this. Five, 10 feet up the hill, then turn to the left and go. Walk up, walk up. Hand to the right. Good, hand to the right. Good, sink, sink, add break. Good, that's a nice connection. Keep everything chill, don't get stiff, don't get stiff. You're a bit stiff there, bud. Here, see how we can ground this? We don't have to let it take us. Don't let your hands get stiff because we need that pressure, come on. Let's see those fingertip pressures, come on. Fingertip pressure, come on, come on, come on. Good, so gentle, 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 good. You get Frankenstein arms real easy and you're not giving us what we need. When I said you need pressure, 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 that was our warning, three, two, one, and then it did deflate. Yeah. So when I say pressure, you, you can't get stiff when you do it, but you gotta lower the hands. We just wanna fly it well. <laughs> Good, let's not go to flying speed. Keep the hands connected. Keep them connected. Good, let those elbows low. The elbows up tells us you're stiff. Good, I love that you're looking past me, that's great. Love that the shoulders are forward and through. Love the fingertip touch. That's beautiful, buddy. Okay, so make it happen just a little play here. Relaxed hands. Relaxed hands. Okay, you're gonna flow it into kiting after you touch down, right? Ground your feet. Flat feet, flat feet. Slow down. Okay, take a tight rein on it so you're in charge. Now, can you cut it up the hill using cross hands? Just go five or 10 feet is good enough. Elbows stay low. Elbows stay low, let those elbows relax. Right hand goes up, you could tell, good. I see you giving stiff arm inputs. <laughs> One of the questions is why in the world would we do that to this guy? I mean, he's in his parka, he's hot, basically too windy. Why are we putting him in the hot seat? So I know how to recover in case something bad happens. Exactly. It's always our fundamental that up there in the sky, there's no pause button. So things will get easily that weird and you'll have to rise to the occasion. And in these moments, you get to see how you respond. And we know that you have a few demons. Sometimes the elbows will go up like this and that, that signifies that the, the shoulders are too stiff and you won't be a good shock absorber with the hands. You'll be in the tippy toe mode, right? Like you touch down and as you were trying to kite, you were in tippy toes. And these are things that we're working on. So it's not lost on us, um, all those things. And darn it, all those things are getting better by the second. You get more and more fierce every second that we do this, as long as we can keep it under control. Perfect. <laughs>